Hey guys, it's Evelina here, and today we are going to talk about Drek Macon's handbag. <gasps> Look at it! <laughs> it is so beautiful. I'm so proud of this bag. I'm in love with it. <gasps> so at the end of this video, I'm going to put my unboxing to this gorgeous bag. <laughs> it was <laughs> pretty over the top, and I wasn't expecting it, so not wearing any makeup, but it was completely worth filming it. So we're going to keep that for the end of the video. Now I'm just going to have a little chat about the bag and you'll see this shortly on Jack Macon's channel as well. Obviously she's going to do the main launch video. Um, this is kind of like a launch video too for my channel just in case some of my followers aren't followers of Jack Macon's and just so I can talk about my lovely new <laughs> member of the family <laughs> and of course how you guys can obtain one yourself. Okay, so let's just have a little chat about this gorgeous new handbag. Um, when I originally contacted Drac, I knew from her IG profile that she was going to want to do red and I'm so glad that we went with that. Every material of the bag is vegan friendly and that was very important for myself and for Drac of course. Now if you've been following me with the Riri bag, you'll know that these are so expensive that we need to get quite a few pre-orders and because Drac's bag is quite a lot dearer than Riri's bag, we're going to have to receive 75 orders. I put the bag um, on my online store. It is technically available even though I haven't launched it yet and Drac hasn't launched it yet. And we've already started to have a few sales come in. So we were both really excited about that. So now it's even less than 75 sales. Now due to the sheer weight, if you have ordered the Riri bag, expect to pay a little bit more in shipping. It's just like maybe $5 or something like that. Mainly for you international people. It's just because it is so heavy. There's so many adornments on the bag. It's actually 400 grams heavier than Riri's one. So there's just a lot of metal hardware that adds to the weight. So I don't make any money off the shipping. That's just what DHL charged me to send the items. But yeah, take a look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my gosh, even the sides. Uh, the patent, it's so shiny. For anyone that likes shiny things, you guys are gonna love this. And look, we even put our little crosses on the back and they've got Swarovski jewels in them. So the back ones here have black jewels and the inside here is lined with red satin. Can you see that? Blood red. Ooh, so vampiric. Again, once you open it up, um, you will see black faux suede. The mirror is dirty because I've had my fingers all over it. But yeah, we've got the plate. Drag makers by Evelina Tamori, that's me. <laughs> Strong magnetic clip and of course the makeup mirror. As you guys know, I'm putting these in all of my bags because they're just so damn handy. And a really nice touch is this. I don't know what that's called. Who cares? It's cool and it's chrome. And most importantly, it's shiny. Speaking of shiny things, have you guys ever seen a strap this awesome? Holy mackerel. <laughs> I'm trying not to say holy shit because Steel is starting to say everything I say. Look at that. That is why the bag is so damn heavy. They are big people. They're like an inch. Whoops, just hit the tripod. Look at that. <laughs> I am actually, I haven't um, suggested this to Drac, but I am so in love with that. I think I want to have that made as a collar. Comment down below if you guys think this is an awesome idea. And we'll sell it separately to kind of go along with it. I just put it on as a choker. I think for the promotional photos, I might take the strap off, I mean. And yeah, kind of incorporate <laughs> this and wear it as a, as a choker because it's just so divine. I've never seen rivets that detailed before. My manufacturer sent me quite a lot, but I like how they're, they're layered there. It's very industrial. And yeah, when you're wearing that on the shoulder, oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, completely removable. And then you can just wear this or hold it as a clutch, which is a really nice feature. Inside as well, I'll check this out. We've also got <laughs> the little the zipper across again, but inside, because everything's black on the inside, we put red jewels on there. Attention to detail, people. Oh my gosh. I'm just, it's such a lovely bag. And like, I said this to Vaughn, I would want you to buy this for me. Like I made it and I want, I want to go to my website and buy one. <laughs> so I don't know how excited you guys are about this. Like when I'm this excited about it. So hopefully you're jumping up and down and 
Yeah, as excited as Jack and I are for this gorgeous bag. Okay, so let's talk about the price. It is a little dearer. There's a few things that um, were the reason for having to raise the price of the bag compared to Riri's one. The first is there's just a lot more, it's intricate. Um, there's, you know, we didn't have <laughs> zipper handles that had jewels in them with Riri's one. Um, we didn't have this many studs um, or the metal attachments here or a strap with heavy expensive rivets um, so it is quite a lot dearer for me to to manufacture um, but it's so worth it seriously this is the best quality bag that I own and it's mine <laughs> that's so cool so yeah this is going to reta retail for 139 Australian dollars I did my homework for Drac and I worked out what that was with conversions but I've forgotten all of them I think it's like 109 US dollars I think Canadian dollars from memory is the same as Australian, so 140. I think it's 90 euro. But please head to my website and check it out. I might be wrong. I totally suck at math and I'm doing this from memory. So don't take my word for it. I know that it's 139 Australian dollars and that is it. Now, like I said, we will need to secure 75 before we can manufacture this with Riri. We had to have 50. Really, I needed 75 as well. I, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you know that there was a bit of a drama there with um, my manufacturer raised their, they didn't honor their quote. So even though we secured 50 pre-orders for Riri's bag, it wasn't enough money um they upped their price and it's like i would have had to sell 75 so i've had to put three grand of my own money um that's my my wardrobe isn't finished um into riri's lovely bag um because i didn't want the people that had ordered it to have to wait anymore and we like riri and i just filmed a video that will i think shortly be on her channel kind of being really excited and telling the world that yay we've got to 50 orders and i didn't want to I have to film another one saying, wait, <laughs> no, everything's changed. We really need 75. See, so yeah, I didn't want to do that to you guys. So I'll just go without my wardrobe <laughs> um, for a few more months. So yeah, that's, that's being manufactured. But anyway, back to this bag for now. So yeah, 139 Australian dollars. My store accepts Visa card, MasterCard. I think it accepts American Express. I'm not too sure about that. I have to check it out. Um, PayPal, PayPal is a really safe, great way um, to make payments online. If you're in Australia, a really cool thing um, as a payment option is Afterpay. Um, it's free to register. And what they do is they split the payment into four. So if you're wanting to buy this bag, they will combine um, this and the shipping and they'll split it into four payments two weeks apart, a fortnight apart. So you end up um, being able to pay the bag off over eight weeks. At the moment, I think Afterpay is only available in Australia, but I know they are looking to expand very shortly if they haven't already to New Zealand. They did tell me sometime in 2017 that they will be heading to the US and then Europe and eventually worldwide. So that will be really, really handy for my customers because I know they are a little dearer than the price point that we originally had planned. When I first spoke to Riri, I was um, hoping for the $59.95 kind of mark, but <laughs> that was really unrealistic. And you hear me say this a lot, it's just because I'm ordering so few of these. The less you order, the more you charge. That's how it goes. So just keep it in mind, if you do order one of these, there will be a little bit of a wait until we do secure the 75 pre-orders. So we've got um, enough money to actually place the order. They will be manufactured straight away, but even that process will take about four weeks. And then it's like three to five days for them to arrive to me. Hello, it's my lovely husband bringing me a cup of tea. Thank you. Just what I need. Still asleep? Yeah. Yeah, so a little bit of a wait. Um, as soon as they're manufactured and sent to me, obviously I will send them to you guys. And my online store will automatically send you an email when your item has been shipped. It won't update you when the bags go into manufacturing, but the best thing to do if you're going to order a bag is to follow either myself or Jack on Instagram or YouTube, and we'll regularly be letting you know like how the sales are going, because we want to keep you guys up to date as well. It's so exciting! <laughs> if you order one, please help us out by just sharing the promotional photos that I'm going to post on my website. Um, share them on Facebook, share them on Instagram, share them anywhere. Make a video on the upcoming release. Anything you can do to help Drac and I promote this beautiful bag and get to 75 um, orders, we would really appreciate. Wow, I need to breathe when I talk. Oh my lord. So yeah, I've probably really forgotten some important stuff, but everything else will be covered in the Drac video. I planned hers out 
thoroughly. I wrote every detail down very meticulously for her video because I didn't want um, I didn't want her to forget anything important because obviously she has the bigger fan base so it's I feel like it's more important <laughs> for her to do a better job at this release video than it is me. So yeah, they, these videos will probably be out at the same time so head on over to her channel and check out her gorgeous video. I can't wait to see her unboxing of this bag as well. Um, my manufacturer was kind enough this time to make me two. Um, so obviously one's being sent to Drac and I get to keep this beautiful bag so I can do promotional photos and stuff like that with um, Ray Ray's bag. I only had the one sample and that got mailed to her. Um, so it was really hard for me to kind of promote it when I didn't have the bag. Yet. So luckily they understood that and yeah, they made me too. So that's, that's really nice. Yeah, I'm like, pick a book. <laughs> I'm just going to give you some close up shots of the bag. Oh my gosh. I'm loving patent leather. It's just so sexy. Oh my god, my voice is so husky. So, yeah, let's show you the inside again. <gasps> yeah, so internal zipper. That's really handy. Two compartments. Really strong magnet that goes clip so your stuff doesn't fall out. And the gorgeous strap. Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> if that didn't sell you, <laughs> nothing will. <laughs> it's a curse to be surrounded by such beauty, isn't it? <laughs> what am I going to do when there's so many bags that I can't hold them in my hands, people? <laughs> How? And can I wear them all at once? Do you think that's like in bad taste? <laughs> one on one side, one on the other side? <laughs> hey guys, so I have Drag Macon's sample here and I'm just going to start to unbox it. It's very exciting, I might fast forward this part. Here we go. Here we go, people. <gasps> Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. Look at that, people. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! No wonder they're so expensive. This one is even dearer than Riri's one. I just got, I know, the, um, of the bag it's gonna have to be dearer but people look at this this is like high-end fucking shit oh my god look how thick it is oh i should be looking at this camera okay i'm really excited oh my god new favorite did we fucking do this holy fucking shit i'm so excited and i designed it wow and we haven't even opened it yet That's some nice, yes. Oh my god. I'd Red Saturn. Shit. Huh? I'd buy that shit. He'd buy that shit. See, Von would buy it for me. I would. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thanks. My birthday is coming up, people. 28th of May. Okay. Yeah, we're going to open the bag, people. Black, black, black. Ah! <laughs> Complete with makeup mirror. Look at the Drag Bacon's tag there. Oh, it's got a little, like how high end is that? It comes with a little cover to protect it that we can pull off. See, whoop, 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 whoop. Don't pull it off, because that's, that's for Drag's one. Oh, look how shiny that is. Oh, good, good, good. Some, oh, yeah. <laughs> Color samples for Tyson. <laughs> Toxic Tears' bag. This one is a bit more nicer than I was expecting it to be. On this side, we have the faux suede. Look, oh, look at the red people. So that's for It's Black Friday. This is um, for Mahofsun. Mahofsun, am I saying that right? Hella, tell me. I don't know. Um, but she wanted like a really dark purple. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> trying to look really elegant but falling over at the same time. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and that was a mite. 
touch. <laughs> I like mommy's.